Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. Um, if you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning viewer or a subscriber, welcome back. Um, so yeah, I'm just clearing the energy so that we can get into your daily messages because I just did like three readings back to back. Um, I don't know what's going on with these karmics and these masculines, but yeah, it was a lot. So, anyway, we're going to get daily messages for today, uh, March 20th, 2023. See what you guys need to know for today. Um, you already know, guys, these are general messages. These are not personal, okay? So, only take what resonates with you, all right? Some parts are for you. Some parts are for somebody else, all right? Some of you may resonate with the whole entire reading. I don't know. But don't take everything if it's not all for you, all right? If you would like a personal, the information that you need will be in the description box below. Um, please remember that time is fluid. So this could be past, present, or future energy that I'm picking up on. Also, please remember that um, this could be the, your energy or the energy of someone around you or somebody that you're thinking about or somebody who's thinking about you, all right? Friend, lover, coworker, ex-lover, family member, whoever, all right? Also... Masculine feminine energy can be switched. Roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation. All right. If I say he and it's she, then feel free to switch the roles. If I say Nathaniel and it's really Nancy, then feel free to switch the roles. All right. Um, let's see where I want to start today. This reading is going to be for Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whatever you have Libra in your chart. You could resonate with this message. All right. Cross watchers. Hey, I see y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. My candle done went out. All right, it's going to be daily messages for my Libras. Daily messages for Libra. What do we need to start this time? Holy Spirit. Okay, you got the weekend. Okay, this could be past, present, or, well, past, coming up, or future energy. Okay, the weekend. Something about the weekend. Let's get one more. Excuse me. Okay. 5 to 8 a.m. So something about the weekend. 5, 6, 7, 8 a.m. Okay. <clears throat> For some of y'all, this may have something to do with tomorrow. It's on the bottom of the deck. Okay. But let's just see what we need to know about the weekend or a weekend. Okay. It could be this weekend. It could have been last weekend. It could be two, three weekends from now, all right? So, let's just see. Where are we going with this? Okay. <sighs> for Libra, for my Libras, what do we need to know about the weekend? Between 5 and 8 a.m., what do we need to know about... Whatever weekend this is, Holy Spirit, what are the messages? Holy Divine Spirit, God, and angels, ancestors, spirit guides, spirit team of the highest white light, please be with me during this reading for the Libra Collective. Please help me to interpret and convey your messages accurately and clearly. Please help me to use my intuition to gain clarity and understanding. Thank you so much for your continued guidance, support, and protection and love. Please continue to protect myself as well as the collective. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Ashe, amen. Sorry, y'all. We're getting a phone call. No, ma'am. Okay. All right. Somebody may be walking away from a connection with the Eight of Cups, Two of Cups here. Go cl close the door, Scott. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups. So somebody could be walking away from a situation, already walked away from a situation, or thinking about walking away from a situation, okay? I'm trying to be a little more broad with the things that I say to you guys, okay? Because nothing is set in stone when in tarot, okay? So again, that's why we say past, present, future energy. Um, things could change at any time, 444 on the timer. Whatever I'm picking up on today could be completely different tomorrow based on what somebody chooses to do, all right? Because everybody has free will. So just because I say something 
today, it could change like tomorrow. So that's why I'm trying to, I, I always try to do broad scenarios or broad, broad spectrums. I keep in mind that I'm reading for whoever, at least hundreds of people at this point. So, you know, y'all take the energies, how they resonate for you. Okay, please. But anyways, so yeah, somebody, something about walking away from a situation, a love, a partnership. Leo, Cancer, Pisces energy. Somebody could have found out some type of truth here, came to some type of clarity or some type of realizations about a person or a situation. Yeah, something, something that they've been feeling heavily burdened in. Somebody's really been all up in their head about something, okay? Feeling very burdened or stressed out or burned out over a situation, over thoughts of a person or just feeling trapped in their head, okay? Something is being hidden and I... I'm hearing revealed as well. So secrets revealed. The moon card talks about secrets. Okay. Um, yeah. Ooh. Cha. Somebody dealing with somebody toxic. You got the moon card. Five of swords. Seven of swords. And then you got Libra energy. Justice. This is your energy. This could also be a court situation. This could be, um, uh, something about karma. Somebody could be receiving some type of karma for something that they did to you. Um, somebody is hiding the fact that they are maybe in a toxic connection or a toxic relationship. Okay. Um, but they're looking at you, Libra, whoever this person is, they're looking at you. Seven of swords to the justice card here. Whoever this sneaky energy is somebody may be thinking about sneaking off with you or coming towards you maybe if they in a connection with another person maybe they're having secret thoughts and fantasies about you know cheating on this person with you or something like that okay but they're looking back at you libra whoever this is okay heavy on the aquarius energy um pisces cancer energy here as well P cancer pisces scorpio could be any of these signs okay so somebody is feeling regret OK, they want to make you an offer here or an apology or they want to um, I'm hearing reconcile, but that's not what I meant to say. But somebody could want to make you an apology. This could be somebody who's younger than you or this is somebody who's like immature or childish or emotionally immature. All right. But it, but they want to make you an offer, Libra. The song playing right now is I, I thought I told you that we won't stop. So this could be somebody. A little aggressive, okay? This could be somebody who's like, yeah, I don't want to, I thought I told you that we wasn't going to stop this. I want to, I really want to, like, this is somebody who's like kind of pushy, kind of aggressive here, heavy on the Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Um, Also, you could be dealing with another air sign, heavy on the Aquarius. Because somebody feels sadness or they in some type of regret here, all right, with the Five of Cups. Probably about a choice that they made here with the two of cups or they maybe feel like they made the wrong choice or the wrong option. Something about 55 or made a fifth. You guys could be seeing five, five or five, five, five. Okay. Um, somebody could be 57 or 55 or 52 or 25, 27. Um, this guy has something to do with a earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn with the king of pentacles here yeah somebody's walking away leaving somebody out in the cold didn't I say that with the at the beginning five of um pentacles right here somebody could also be going through a, a tough financial time here but I feel like whoever this king of pentacles energy is maybe leaving somebody out in the cold here okay um Scorpio is out here now as well but this person wants to yeah they want to reconcile with you so this could be somebody who maybe walked away from you in the past with the with the justice falling I mean with the yeah, the justice lining up with the five of pentacles. This could be somebody who ghosted you in the past or left you out in the cold, walked away from you here in the past. But now it's like this person wants to come in with some type of offer and reconcile here. But I feel like this may be somebody that you are blocked. Or I said are blocked from. I meant somebody that you blocked, but this could be somebody that you are blocked from and I'm, I'm getting like spirit, like your spirit guys or Holy spirit or something is keeping this person from coming towards you. Okay. So maybe you're blocked from this person because, uh, Hmm, I don't know, but I feel like they may want to work with you or, or something like that. I keep hearing reconcile, 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 like what the hell. Okay. 
this one of this person want to work with you they could probably they they could be being blocked from you because they um have a third party situation going on here so maybe um spirit is protecting you from reconnecting with this person because you got the three of pentacles with the higher thing here so yeah this person could be in a in a third like they got something else going on with somebody else okay i don't know what kind of a situation this is but they're dealing with somebody else so yeah i said you're being blocked from this person or they're being blocked from you spirit is protecting you from this situation here okay because I heard some that I heard they need to get themselves together. So somebody needs to get themselves together. And this came out in some reading. Like this has been coming out in, in my readings. Like there's somebody who who maybe who either you want to reconnect with or they want to reconnect with you, but they're being blocked like spiritually from coming towards you. Like, yeah, because they need to get themselves together. This person could be realizing their feelings and emotions for you with the sun card, with the Pisces here, okay? Whoever this is, yeah, and they got a tower moment coming. So this person is going through a separation, breakup, or divorce with the tower, with the uh, four of wands here. Somebody could be getting kicked out of a house, moving out of a house, but I definitely see there's something falling here, all right? Yeah, this person is very confused here. They're trying to decide whether or not they want to come towards and make you this offer, okay? Yeah, they're slow. They're moving very slowly. They're deciding very slowly. They're being very careful with... Um, you know, if they want to approach you or whatever, somebody could have stepped out on somebody because like had a whole lot of options, been sleeping around. This could be somebody in a marriage. OK, you got the seven of swords, the hierophant and the seven of cups lining up. The seven of cups talks about confusions and illusions. It also talks about having a lot of options here. OK, so somebody could have been like sleeping around in a marriage, all right, um, 1144 on this timer here, okay, this person wants to come towards you, but they're holding back, or it's happening slowly, and I feel like it's because, again, you're being spiritually protected, spiritually, this person is being spiritually blocked from you, because they got some stuff that they need to work on here, okay, but they want to come towards you, Ada, um, wands, I heard spirit say, I got something else for you, mm, okay, so Spirit has something else in mind for you guys, okay? Ace of Swords, that's the truth here, okay? You got the child heavy on the Gemini with the King of Swords and the Lover's card here. So um, this could be uh, a Gemini that wants to come towards you or somebody wants to come towards you and confess their love to you and give you some type of offer, okay? Y'all, just watch any readings that I do that I've done today because it seems like this is all tying in here, okay? So this could happen over the weekend. This could have been somebody who, this is again, this is what somebody has on their mind or this is currently happening or something like that, okay? But you could be somebody who's single. This person could be single now. Yeah, this is you. This is how they see you. Beautiful, abundant, single, prosperous, stable, everything, okay? This could be a toxic person or a toxic connection or something about a toxic attachment, or you could simply be dealing with a Capricorn here who was trying to make a decision about coming towards you, wanting to work with you, wanting to celebrate with you, but all up in their head here. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go to another something. Let me get another deck. I try to do the different timelines, storylines or whatever in these daily readings. So that's that one. Let's see what else we're going, we dealing with. Let's get some Kipper. Somebody's name could be Selena or Christina. And then Aaron, Derek, Stephanie, Shalisa, Charlissa, or Shalisa, something like that. Shopping for Libra. Daily messages, what is sleep? Yeah, somebody got somebody thinking about you. You got thoughts, somebody, but this could be you. Somebody's thinking about great fortune. So this could be you thinking about great fortune or, or about money. It's somebody thinking got they got money on their mind, like they're focused on money, but also there's like a person in the back of their mind, okay? A goal. Yeah, see how he's looking sideways at that picture. Somebody thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. You know, no, no, I've been thinking about you. You know, no, no. Do you think about me still? Do you? All right. For Libra. Let's see. For Libra, messages, daily messages. What do you need to know? For my Libras, for my Libras. 
you got the mature man out here. Pathway. <sighs> something about two years, the next two years or the past two years or something about two years. Okay. Two years ago. All right. I see sudden wealth for somebody. Okay. Main female, sudden wealth with the house here. Some of you could be getting some money or winning some money or earning some money. Maybe you're buying a house, purchasing a house, fixing something up on your house. Okay. Um, something about court. Somebody's concerned about court or about a marriage here. Yeah. Somebody found out that they're married to a false person and things are about to change here because I feel like they're about to find out that this person is really a false person. Okay. Something about 535 could be significant in the number, uh, angel number 535. All right. Um, yeah, I would look it up for you guys. Y'all know I would, but I'm not going to do it right now. So something about 535, something about a courtship, a partnership, okay? <clears throat> what else? All right, so something about an official person in despair. There's somebody in some type of despair or who will be. Maybe somebody is like losing their job or they're getting some type of news. I'm getting something about court or about a court hearing or about something. Somebody's in some type of despair. Maybe they like lost their job or they can't find a job or somebody's just sad about something. I don't know. Somebody could be going to jail. There's something about an official person, like a, somebody could be like a security guard or something like that. Okay, you got poverty. Um, I don't really do these cards in reverse. Well, I, I never say I don't do anything in reversal because if they don't have reversal meanings in the book, but you know, this is in, these are intuitive reads. Okay, this is whatever. So, um, I know some people may, you know, have, especially the Kipper deck and like, oh, there's no reversals or whatever in the deck. But, you know, I'm, I'm doing it my way. She looks in my way when I say go. I, oh, what I say goes. <laughs> what I say goes, I'm in control. Period. That was, that was for me. That was, that wasn't a. <laughs> never mind y'all alright so anyway poverty in the reverse so there was a mature man who may be concerned about some type of poverty or this could be you maybe um, concerned about some type of poverty alright um, especially if you have like lost your job this official person could be like a boss or something maybe somebody got fired lost their job they're worried about being in poverty here or maybe they have been trouble having trouble finding a job here whoever this is for but I feel like that's about to come to an end here with this poverty card, okay? Something is about to come to an end. With this poverty card in the reverse. Ooh, child. There's the imprisonment. I said somebody might be about to go to jail. So you got child, community, and imprisonment. With the main female. Somebody may be coming into some type of money here. Now, this could be anything. I'm hearing this could be taxes. This could be a bonus from your job, or this could just be someone finding a new job. So you're finally going to have some type of income coming in, all right? This could be a stable business or your business gaining some type of stability or something like that. So take it how it resonates here, okay? Um, something about a child, the, a child in the community, Somebody may be going to jail, something to do with a child in the community. Child? Okay, I don't know. I'm getting news stories. So maybe somebody's watching this on the news or something like that. Like maybe somebody tried to take a child or kidnap a child and they're going to jail. Maybe y'all watching something like this on TV or this could be happening, but uh, I, I heard news stories. So something is on the news or going to be on the news. Okay. Yeah, a thief here. Somebody did somebody try to run off with a child? Who? Whoever that is. This person going to jail. So somebody going to jail. I don't know. All right. Okay. Nothing else coming out here. Privileged lady on the bottom of the deck. Something's coming to an end for a privileged lady. 
okay? Or somebody who thought they were in some type of privilege, maybe it's coming to an end. Somebody's, something is coming to an end for this privileged lady. Hmm. All right. Um, you have dates, May 22nd, March 5th, February 2nd. March 2nd, uh, March 7th, January 8th, March 9th, February 9th, May 22nd, May 18th, May 29th, okay? Those could be some significant dates for somebody. Somebody could be 35, 22, 32, 37, 18, 39, 29. Somebody could have an 18-year-old, a 22-year-old, or a 5-year-old. All right, so I'm going to have a 12-year-old, January 2nd. Let's see, I think I got time for one more. Um, uh, so Libra. Child, somebody having some heart-to-heart -heart conversations about some unrequited love. There is somebody somewhere, some couple somewhere, who is um, discussing... Their feelings. They're having a conversation about how they don't feel the same way anymore. Somebody does not feel the same way about a person anymore. And they're having to tell this person that, that there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. Yeah. It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Somebody is telling somebody they don't feel the same way anymore. Okay. It's going to be somebody who's married with a wedding card here. They don't feel the same way about their person, about their partner anymore. And they're having to tell this person that. Okay. Somebody could want to go toward their soulmate, or this could be a karmic soulmate that this person is dealing with. All right. Yeah, this person wants to heal. Somebody could want to heal a connection with a soulmate. Okay. Somebody who feels like they're their soulmate. Okay. Yeah, look, release your ex. I'm telling you. Somebody having a, a hard conversation with somebody about this ain't working anymore. I don't feel the same way I feel or I felt in the past. Somebody somewhere. All right. You got chemistry, strong magnetic attraction here. Somebody could have to tell somebody that they may be attracted to another person. Or that maybe they're not telling this person that part. But I feel like it's because somebody's attracted to another person. All right. Yeah. Something about very soon. You may hear something about this very soon here. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, that heart to heart conversations flew over there. Somebody has um is having chemistry or make it has made or wants to make a connection with another person. And they're having to tell the person that they're currently with that they don't feel the way that they felt about them anymore. Yeah. The situation is calling for you to have faith very soon. Okay, you got honeymoon out here with reconciliation. So this could be somebody who, yeah, who wants to reconcile with you. Okay, 23, 23 on the timer. And they could be telling the person that they're currently dealing with that they don't want to be with them anymore, that they don't feel the same anymore. Okay, maybe this is somebody telling you this. Maybe they're telling you that they don't feel the same anymore about their person. And maybe they're telling you how much chemistry that they feel like the two of you have here. Okay. 2344 on the timer. All right. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic about your love life. Trust. The situation is causing you to trust and have faith. Somebody wants you to trust and have faith in you guys' connection or something like that. Okay. You got the work waiting for that flew out here. So divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is something that's happening in divine timing or you're on the right time or something like this. Okay. Know that you deserve love and this could be the one. So child, somebody needs to release their ex. I don't know if this is you to, you need to release your ex so that your person can come in. Okay. Or this is your person who's coming in that's releasing an ex. Yeah. This wedding and unrequited love is definitely right here in attraction and engagement. So somebody 
is definitely wanting to go toward another person because they don't feel the same way 24 44 about their person anymore and i know i keep saying that but i mean i'm gonna see if anything else come out but i think that's just it yeah guys that's the message okay i'll see y'all in the next one